Hello everybody and welcome back to another Beer Lay Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Modit from Unibrew and uh, it is Thanksgiving weekend which actually means this channel is one year old. It started last year during Thanksgiving break, uh, Thanksgiving weekend with the uh, August dinner as you guys might remember. I, I want to give thanks to my viewers. Oh, how sweet of me, right? All 20 of you that tune in every once in a while. The, the Modit from Unibrew, it's out of Canada. So let's uh, open this puppy up and get taste them, why don't we, huh? all poured up let's check this puppy out so this is um, a Belgian style double and we'll kind of get into a little bit about what that means pretty much it's a uh, Belgian style beer it's gonna be an ale it is brown in color with a little bit of red a little bit of caramelness to it is a hazy beer I did pour the yeast into this thing didn't leave that in the bottle Yeast kind of defines Belgian style beers right off the bat I'm not smelling this beer a whole lot so I'm not like strong aromas coming off of it you know sometimes you get IPAs you like pop the top and just like BAM right in the face something like that it's getting a little bit of a uh, little bit of that Belgian yeast and it is quite malty and an aroma let's uh let's quit talking about this thing and actually try it out we don't we huh prost Unibrew, they're claiming this to be their double Belgian style Abbey Ale, kind of a lot of words. I'll try and explain what that means. Pretty much it's a Belgian style ale um, from the country of Belgium. And these Abbey style beers, this is kind of what I was talking about back uh, when I did the Spencer review. You guys can check that out by clicking up in the uh, right hand corner if you want. This like typical Belgian yeast type of a flavor. It is a little bit bready, a little bit malty, a little bit caramely. This is a very caramely beer I would um, would say slight sweetness to it as well that's also kind of typical of, of Belgian styles a little bit more sweet maltiness to it I would have to say you could probably pass this off as a Belgian style ale in Belgium this is um, this is a pretty good do of it I will say you now sometimes you got a lot of a lot of American or North at least North American breweries that try to do European style beers <coughs> And they don't really get it right on the head. I think Spencer's was kind of that way in the sense that they it's it was good There was just missing a little bit of something, but this is uh, this isn't like all the right notes on it. So this is actually really All right, so let's talk about the brewery a little bit. So Union Brew opened up in 1990 in uh, Chambly, Quebec. That would be in Canada. This is the first Canadian beer that we've done. Oh Canada no. All right, anyway, they brew, what type of beers do they brew, Mike? By the way, you guys should check out their website. It's pretty dope. So they have um, mostly Belgian style stuff. We've got a wit beer, black ale, is on ripple, uh, another wit. So we're doing we're doing a lot of Belgian styles. Um, I did look on their website and the uh, Maudit, as it's called, is one of their most popular beers. It is also the first strong beer that was ever sold and produced and sold in Canada. It's been brewing since 1992. This beer has been almost as old, almost as old as I am. It's got an IBU of 22. Belgian beers usually don't have a lot of strong hoppiness to it. It's got an ABV of 8. That's also very characteristic of Belgian beers. They're flipping strong, man. Okay, yeah, let's um, talk about the bottle on the front. We got these dudes like in a canoe, if you guys can see that. We got like a little devil underneath and there's a story behind that so Maudit in French I'm assuming means the damned and pretty much how the story goes is that there were these lumberjacks up in Canada and already already starting to play some stereotypes here aren't we and they were going up to do some lumberjacking things up in the upper north away from their wives away from their families and these guys they, you know they're like kind of getting anxious they want to go like have fun you know instead of just like chopping trees down all day and hanging out with a bunch of dudes so they made a pact with the devil that they could uh, get in their canoe and like fly it across all the way back down to like their hometown and they could like party all night and stuff like that 
and the devil was like, oh yeah, you know, you can do this, but you gotta be back by dusk. So they flew their canoe all the way back home, went and partied, and then they flew it all the way back home. And of course it didn't work out, so they got, you know, like screwed over by the devil. That's the brief and very uninteresting version of that story, but that's how it, that's how it went. I'll tell you, it's a true, it's based on true events. All right, well, um, that's gonna do it. Mm. That was the uh, Maudit from Unibrew. Uh, pretty good beer. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good beer. I uh, hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. And as always, I hope you guys write your representatives and tell them that you support common sense, bipartisan gun control legislation. Until next time, we'll see you then. Wow, that was such an awful send-off. It appears in the last year the send-offs have not gotten any better. But anyway, we'll see you guys next time on Brulee. Peace out. Thank you.